Now, let's get into our NBA title odds going into this season. We just got some fresh ones from our friends at BetDSI. So without further ado, let's roll right into them. Let's start with the Atlanta Hawks. Their NBA title odds plus 25,000, which means they're not going to win the NBA title. Sorry, Atlanta. Sorry, Vince Carter. You guys aren't going to actually win the NBA title this year. It's just not going to happen. The over-under wins, though, at 23 and a half is quite interesting. Now, I, don't, I would personally take the over. I think it's a little bit difficult for the Hawks to win under 23 games. Like That is so few games, but winning anything over 25, 26 just isn't really possible for me. So we have the Atlanta Hawks at plus 2,500. Let's stay in the same section of plus 25 or plus 25,000, I should say. Brooklyn Nets coming in next. Over under win total of 32 and a half. Again, another one that I'm going to maybe take the over on. I think the Nets are going to be a little bit better than people expect this year. They're a good team. They're a fun team. They're just not there yet in terms of overall talent. They have some nice young players, but again, plus 25,000 is pretty fitting for a Brooklyn Nets team that, again, isn't going to compete for an NBA Finals this year. Let's keep going on. Same category. We still we have the Charlotte Hornets, plus 25,000, over under win total of 35 and a half. I'm going to take the under on the Charlotte Hornets overall win total. I mean, 35 wins for a Hornets team that doesn't really have a ton of talent on it. No thanks. I think they're going to be one of the worst teams in the Eastern Conference next year. So I'm going to take the under on their win total. Let's go to our next team here, the Chicago Bulls, still at plus 25,000. Over under win total of 27 and a half. That's really, really low for a Chicago Bulls team who, look, you're going to think I'm crazy on this. This team could get hot and maybe make a run at the eight seed. I mean, Look, this team has a lot of talent on it. Chris Dunn, Zach Levine, Bobby Portis, Wendell Carter Jr., Laurie Markkinen, Justin Holliday, Robin Lopez, a good coach, and Fred Hoiberg, uh, along with Jabari Parker. I mean, this Bulls team has some good talent on it. I think 27 and a half wins is way too low. I'm going to take the over on the Chicago Bulls. Let's go to the Cleveland Cavaliers here, still at plus 25,000. Over under win total of 30 and a half. God, that, that, that's tough because, you know, obviously Kevin Love is there, but Kevin Love is, you know, maybe one concussion away from missing an entire NBA season. They don't have a lot of big-time talent on the team. I know they just traded for Sam Decker, but come on, let's be honest with ourselves. His wife is more attractive than his overall basketball skills. So I'm not crazy about the Cleveland Cavaliers going to next, going to next season. I just they don't have enough talent for me. I, I'll, I'll take 30 wins. I think I'll actually take the uh, – I'll, I'll take the even – on 30 wins. I think the Cavs will end up right there. Let's stay with 25,000. It's the Detroit Pistons over under win total of 37 and a half. They still don't think that with now Dwayne Casey, with Blake Griffin, with Andre Drummond, they still don't think that this Pistons team is going to break 40 wins. I disagree. I think this Pistons scheme is going to finally break 500 this year. They've, they just they have too much talent, and they have too good of a head coach to not actually make it to the 8th seed this year. Maybe not 8th seed. Maybe they just missed the playoffs at the 9. But 37 wins, it's just a little under what I think the Pistons will end up reaching this year. Let's go to the Memphis Grizzlies. Still at plus 25,000 on the NBA title odds presented to us by BetDSI. Over under win total of 34 and a half. That's a tough one because the Grizzlies could be a lot better this year. Mike Conley coming back. Marcus Gasol coming back. They add Jaron Jackson Jr. They bring back a couple of nice young pieces as well, like a Dylan Brooks who had a good year last year. I think overall, give me, a, give me the over on the Memphis Grizzlies with 34 wins. I think the Grizzlies could end up winning somewhere close to maybe 37, 38 wins. I don't think they're a 500 team, but I think the Grizzlies could still make it to at least the upper 30s in the win total category. Let's go to our next team here, still at plus 25,000. If you're wondering if you should put money on any of these teams, the answer is no. And also, if you're looking for an over-under bet, Take the under on the Miami Heat wins this year because if you ask me, this team is going to sell, sell, sell by the middle of the season. I think they're going to sell off Justice Winslow, Goran Dragic, Deion Waiters, Hassan Whiteside, you know, all these guys. They're gone. I think the Miami Heat are going to blow it up. Tyler Johnson, he's going to go. I think they're going to blow it up and try to tank and get into next year. They don't have their first round pick in 2021, so they got to strike some young talent now. I think the Miami Heat will do that by this year's trade line. All right, we got the Knicks. Now, 
29 and a half wins over under for the Knicks. Still same NBA title odds of plus 25,000. That's tough, man. That's tough. Because that's saying that the Knicks, who are going to have at least 40 games of Chris Depp's Przingis, are not going to reach 30 games with now Kevin Knox and with Dave Fisdale, with a decent point guard crew and uh, a, decent, uh, a decent number of guys down low with their bigs. Under 30 wins for me with the Knicks next year is tough. I think they win 35 games at least. I mean, I just don't know why, how they couldn't. I mean, they have a great coach. They have a great star player in Chris Stapps. They have a good young Ford and Kevin Knox. I think they win over 30 games. Give me the over on 29 and a half for the Knicks. All right, let's get to the Magic. Still plus 25,000. Not going to spend a lot of time on the Magic. 31 wins over under. Give me the under. The Magic are tanking. They might not even win 25 games this year. This team is going to be real, real bad. Let's go to the Kings. Still plus 25,000. Over under win total of 25.5. This one's difficult because, as I mentioned multiple times on this broadcast, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the Kings. I think the Kings are actually in line to end up with a better season you know, this year than they had the past four or five. I mean, look, Darren Fox, Marvin Bagley, Buddy Heald, Harry Giles, uh, Zach Randolph, you know, Justin Jackson. Like, they have some good quality talent on this team. I think it'll bring them to 30 wins this year. I'm going to take the over on 25 and a half with the Kings. I think they're going to end up actually winning a good couple of games this year. Let's go to the Clippers, plus 22,000 with their great core players of Lou Williams and Tobias Harris. Give me the under. Give me the under on 35 wins. I think Doc Rivers is gone by the end of this year. I think they're trading away a bunch of pieces at the deadline. I think the Clippers are going to blow it up in advance of you know, their free agency period in 2019 where they have all that cap space. They have a ton of guys on one-year deals. I wouldn't be surprised if they packaged a couple of those one-year uh, guys into for a, uh, to a competitor to get a young player. Maybe they package something to, uh, together to get C.J. McCollum from the Blazers or something like that. I just think that the Clippers eventually are going to have to blow it up a little bit in order to start building through the draft. They already got Shea Gilders Alexander, so I'd be interested to see what they do going forward. Let me know in the comments section below. Give me a heart for the over on the Clippers or give me a like for the under. Could go either way. I personally am going to take the under, so I'm throwing up that like button. Let's go to our next team here, the Phoenix Suns, with the same title odds as the Clippers, plus 22,000. Obviously, it's not going to happen, but an over-under win total of 28 and a half. It's, it's just that it's a little low. I think the Suns win at least 30 games this year. They have way too much talent on the offensive side of the ball to not at least win 30 games. I mean, I could totally see them losing 52 games next year for sure, but... Just the Suns not winning at least 30 games with Devin Booker and Josh Jackson, Trevor Ariza, Mikel Bridges, DeAndre Ayton. Like, it's just, it's tough for them to not get to at least 30 wins. I think 20 and a half is a fine number, but I'm going to take the over. So I'm throwing up that A in the comments section. Type in A if you think it's over. Type B if you think it's an under. Let's go to the Dallas Mavericks at plus 14,000 for their title odds. Over under win total of 34 and a half. Are you kidding me? Give me that over. I am slamming, slamming that over. In fact, after this show, I'm going to go on Bet DSI and bet on the Mavs to just to, to win. I mean, that's crazy. 34 and a half wins for a team that won that amount last year, added DeAndre Jordan, added the best rookie in the NBA in Luka Doncic. And added a couple nice bench pieces as well. Why would the Mavs not win at least 35 games next year? I, I don't like this at all. I'm slamming the C. I'm slamming the over on the Dallas Mavericks winning at least 34 and a half games. Let's go to the Pelicans. Plus 13,000. Over under win total of 45 and a half. Can't do it. I, I, look, the Pelicans aren't going to win the title. Obviously 13,000 into or plus 13,000. Their title odds is pretty ridiculous. But 45 and a half wins for the Pelicans? It's not going to happen. Give me the under. I think the Pelicans are going to barely be a 500 team next year. I know they performed quite well without DeMarcus Cousins. I know they added Julius Randle. But look, someone in the Western Conference has to be worse than they were last year. The Lakers are going to add more wins this year. The Jazz are going to add more wins this year. The Thunder are most likely going to add more wins this year. So someone has to add more losses. And I think it's going to end up being the New Orleans Pelicans. 45 and a half wins. Give me the under. I'm typing two in the comment section on Facebook. 
45 and a half wins just isn't something I'm overly crazy about. Let's go to our next team here, the Denver Nuggets at plus 11,000 on the NBA title odds. Over under 47 and a half wins for the Nuggets. This is really tough because this is a team that, look, they add a lot of players uh, this offseason. They brought back a lot of their guys as well. They're going to have a full season, hopefully healthy, of Paul Millsap. Everyone's healthy now. Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, Will, uh, Wilson Chandler is now gone. Nikola Jokic just got a max extension. So I think 47 and a half wins for the Nuggets. Also give me the under. I think they'll end up winning something like 45 or 44 games, but taking the over of 47 and a half wins for the Nuggets, that's a lot of wins, guys. That's a lot of wins for a Nuggets team in the West that frankly is not as good as the other teams, especially when you start looking at the bench. So personally, I say the under on 47 and a half wins for the Nuggets. Let's go to the Pacers at plus 11,000. It's interesting. This Pacers team, I'm interested to see them only at plus 11,000. I thought that their title odds would be a little bit higher. Now, that's not to say I think the Pacers are going to win the title. I think the Pacers are the fourth best team in the Eastern Conference. And with how balanced their roster is, I mean, anything could happen in the playoffs. I mean, they could easily upset the Celtics in the NBA playoffs next year. I could totally foresee the Pacers walking into TD Garden and winning some games in Boston before coming home and winning some more in Indiana. I could totally see that happening. This is a very even, a very balanced, and a very well-coached basketball team. Nate McMillan just got a new extension. Uh, Victor Oladipo, another year of progression for him. So I, I'm going to take 47 wins for the Pacers. So I'm going to take the under because it's 47 and a half. I think 47 wins for the Pacers is a very good number for them. I think that's where they will end up sticking. So the Pacers coming at 47 and a half wins on the over under. Slam that A if you think it's the over. Slam the B if you think it is under. All right, let's go to our next uh, team here, the Milwaukee Bucks. Title odds of plus 11,000. Over under of 46 and a half for their wins. Again, another team that you just, where are the extra wins going to come from? What did they add? Like, is Dante DiVincenzo plus Mike Budenholzer really worth that many more wins? I mean, this was a Milwaukee Bucks team that ended up being eighth in the Eastern Conference last year. 46 and a half wins is difficult for me to give to the Bucks. I'm going to take the under. I think 45 wins will end up being where the Bucks land. I think the Raptors will win 50 games. I think the Sixers will win 50 games. I think the Celtics will win at least 50 games. So I don't think we'll have four 50-game winners in the East. I think the Bucks will come in at around 45. Let's go to our next team here, the Minnesota Timberwolves. Over under 44 and a half. Their title odds coming in at plus 11,000. Honestly, stunned that they're at plus 11,000. I would have pushed them way back to maybe something like plus 17,000 or plus 18,000. Timberwolves ain't win no NBA title this year. Jimmy Butler hates the entire team. Like, what, 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 what's that locker room going to look like? Over under wins of 44 and a half? Give me the under. Give me the under. Jimmy Butler could be traded by the deadline. That dude could be gone. Absolutely. You're telling me if the, you know, if the Rockets are making a run, the Timberwolves are looking to sell, you're telling me the Houston Rockets wouldn't maybe – you know, take a, a half a season of Jimmy Butler with a first round pick and a young player, absolutely they'd make that deal. I think Butler is going to be gone from the T-Wolves by midseason. So give me the under on 44 and a half wins for the T-Wolves. I don't think they reached that number this year. Let's go to the Portland Trailblazers, another team who I think is going to regress in a pretty big way this year. Title odds of plus 11,000. I don't know how they're that high, and I know that's high saying they're plus 11,000, but welcome to the generation of the Golden State Warriors. But over under win total of 41 and a half. That's basically saying that the team that was third in the West last year is going to be a 500 basketball team. I agree. I think the Blazers are going to take a big step back this year. We asked who's going to have to lose more games with all these teams, you know, getting better and adding more players. I think the Blazers are going to be one of those teams that ends up losing a lot more games this year. They won 48 games last year. I think you could see that number drop. I think they'll lose at least six more games next season. So they're already at 42 wins if you add six losses to last year. So I'm going to take the under on 41 wins for the Blazers. I think they're in a real pickle in terms of ending up what their record is going to be. So the Blazers, give me the under, throwing up that like. Let's go to the Wizards at plus 11,000. 44 wins for the Wizards. That is an easy one. Give me that. Give me the over on the Wizards wins. This, this team is going to be fine in the regular season. They'll win their games. They'll get the five or six seed in the East. They'll win 46 games or something. They'll feel all good about themselves. And then they'll go into the playoffs and lose in the first round. 
Like they, they, I can already, I'm sorry, Wizards fans. Like that is what your season is going to be. I told you your season. Uh, no, Harris Stradamus over here. Like I'm telling you what's going on. The Wizards are going to win a lot of regular season games and then lose in the playoffs. It's how it goes every single year. It's how it's going to go again. You think Dwight Howard is going to be the answer for you guys in the playoffs? We've all seen how that's going to work. It's not going to happen. Let's go to our next team. Give me this. Plus 7,600 on the Utah Jazz to win the NBA title. Give me that. Give me those odds. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? This Jazz team, first of all, was fantastic last year. They are bringing back every single player on the team. Another year of development for Donovan Mitchell. Another year of development for Rudy Gobert. Another year under the belt of Quinn Snyder. I don't think the Warriors as a regular season team are going to be as good. I think the Rockets are going to take a step back. What happens if the Warriors implode and it ends up being the Jazz versus the Rockets in the Western Conference Finals? Who's to say that the Jazz can actually make it to the finals this year? I mean, I, they're my pick for the Western Conference Finals team to go up against the Warriors. So 48 and a half wins for the Jazz. I'm taking the over. I'm slamming the over. I'm, pu- I'm putting my money down on the Jazz, people. I think this Jazz team is going to win 50 games. They're my number three, or number three seed in the West going into next year. I think this Jazz team is going to blow a lot of people away. Watch out for the Utah Jazz, people. This team is going to be one of the surprises of the NBA again this upcoming season. we got the Spurs at plus 7,000 over under wins of 43 and a half. I'm taking the over. Look, I understand that Kawhi is gone. The Spurs made it to the playoffs and almost won 50 games last year with, without Kawhi Leonard. Now they're adding DeMar DeRozan. They're one of the only teams in the NBA to have two players that made an all-NBA team last year. And you're telling me that Spurs are going to win 43 games? Give me the over. Absolutely give me the over on the Spurs. This is Greg Popovich we're talking about. The Spurs have made it to the playoffs for 21 consecutive years. Come on. What, you think that's just going to stop because DeMar DeRozan's here instead of Kawhi? No way. The Spurs team is going to be fine. They'll get the five or six seed in the West. 43 wins is kind of an insult. I think this team will at least reach 46-47. They could reach 48 last year without Kawhi. They can reach that number this year with DeMar DeRozan. Let's go to the Thunder plus 4,500. Over under win total of 50 and a half. Wow. They really think the Thunder are going to win 50 games this year. I don't. I really don't. I don't know if it's just me. I think the Thunder are going to disappoint again. Like, what did they add this offseason? So they added Dennis Schroeder. Like, is Dennis Schroeder the difference between them beating and losing or losing to the Utah Jazz in the playoffs last year? No. If they had Dennis Schroeder last year, they're still not beating the Jazz in the playoffs. They're still not being one of the best five or six teams in the West. Like, the, the Thunder were good last year, but I don't think they've done anything this offseason to say, oh, they're going to win 50 games this year in a Western Conference that is just maybe the best Western Conference in the history of basketball. Give me the under. I think this is a, this is a 47-48 win Thunder team. I don't see them getting near 50. That's just that's a lot of wins for a team in the conference that struggled last year when they lost Andre Roberson and a team that I frankly don't think is going to be as good as people say they are going to next year. So over under for the, uh, the Thunder, I'm taking the under. Let's go to our next one here, the Toronto Raptors. NBA title odds of plus 1,700. Damn, that's high. I know Kawhi is worth a lot. I get it. But look, first-year head coach, whole team struggled in the playoffs last year. You only got rid of DeMar DeRozan. The, the, bench is, you know, the bench is good, but you lost one of your best you know, big men in terms of a bench guy. You add Kawhi. You have to hope and pray that he actually gives you 100% all season long and that he's focused on your team and not leaving for L.A. next offseason. Like, 54 and a half wins for the Raptors is a lot. I know they almost won 60 games last year. I get it. I'm going to take the under. I think they win 50 games, but 55 wins is a ton for the, for the Toronto Raptors. I'm going to take the under on it. I know Kawhi's there, but that's just too many wins for me. Let's go to the Philadelphia 76ers, plus 1,500 on the NBA title odds. 54 and a half over under on their win total. Again, another number that's so high to me. Is, is this 76ers team really going to win 50? 54 games? Look, guys, the 76ers, before they went on their crazy win streak to end last season, which they only played two teams with a record above 500, they were a 500 basketball team. 
Like, the, the 76ers, I know, I get it. They ended up as the three seed in the East. They were ahead of the Cavs. But for most of that season, they weren't. Like, they, they weren't that good of a basketball team. They were a 500 team that was – there was a time where they were barely even in the playoffs. They were fighting for the eight seed at one point in the Eastern Conference, and then they go on that crazy win streak where they just beat up on a lot of bad teams that weren't even in the playoffs and end up as a three seed. Like – I know the 76ers are going to be fun, and I know they're the sexy pick in the Eastern Conference next year, but 54 wins for a team that was barely 500 last year is a tough sell for me. So I'm giving the under on 54 and a half wins for the 76ers. I don't think they get 55 wins. That's a lot of wins for a Sixers team that didn't get close to it last year. Let's go to the Lakers at plus 775, over under win total of 48 and a half. I love that number. I absolutely love that number because... I will take the over on any LeBron James wins that is under 50. Give me the over. Come on. Like, who are we talking about here? This isn't some Lakers team that just added Paul George or something. This is a Lakers team that just added the best player in all of basketball. Is LeBron James worth, you know, 15 wins? Yeah, I think so. I know that the West is great. I've said it multiple times. But someone has to get more wins. I think the Lakers reach 50 wins next year. I mean... Look, LeBron brought that horrible Cavs team to the finals last year, and even they almost won 50 games. I think LeBron will be able to get this Lakers team to at least 50 wins. So give me the one. Type in one on there. Give me the over. Let's go to the Houston Rockets at plus 585, over under win total of 54. Uh Uh-uh. Give me the under. I think this Rockets team is going to plummet this year by the end of the year. I think they'll win 50 games, maybe 51, but they are not getting anywhere close to the 61-win season that they had last year. Last year was a very, very special season for the Houston Rockets franchise. I don't think they're going to be able to replicate it this year. I mean, not, you know, they didn't have any major injuries, at least you know, with Chris Paul until, until the playoffs. I mean, he missed some games, but he's never going to play a full 82 I, James Harden missed like nine games last year, but this year they're bringing in Melo. They, they lost a bunch of wing players in a better Western Conference. I think the Rockets are going to falter a little bit this year. So I say 51 wins for the Houston Rockets, so I am taking that under. Let's go to the Boston Celtics at plus 525. Over-under win total of 57 and a half. Wow. Give me the over. 60 wins for the Celtics this year. 60 wins. Book it. 60 wins at the Celtics this year. They're going to go 61 and 21. This is going to be one of the best teams in all of basketball this season. But I will say this. Proceed with caution. Because as Brad Stevens said on a podcast recently, the Celtics' biggest challenge this season is to be the best version of themselves. That is way more difficult for an NBA team to do than it may realize. We have had a lot of great NBA teams on paper over the past couple years. We have had some of the most talented teams in the NBA just fade away into nothing. They have to perform. They have to be the best version of themselves, like Brad Stevens says. So I think 60 wins, but it's not just going to randomly happen. It is going to take time for the Celtics team to get going. I think early in the year, they'll struggle a little bit. But by mid-season, end of the season, they are going to roll. So give me the over. Type an A in the comments section. Let's go to the Warriors. Obviously, the number one team for 2019 NBA title odds. Look at that number. Minus 235. It is August. Minus 235 for the Warriors to win the NBA title is ridiculous. That is insane. Minus 235 has to be one of the the, the most far, the one of the I, I'm trying to think of the, the proper vocabulary here, but that's going to be one of the biggest favorites going into a season of any NBA team ever. Minus 235 in August is stupid. That is absolutely stupid. But over under 62 and a half wins for the Warriors, I'm typing D. Give me the under. I don't think we're going to have a 60 win team in the West this year. I just think there's way too much competition. And I think the Warriors are going to, you know, they're going to do what they did last year. Not really put a crazy amount of effort into the regular season. So I think we could see them get uh, sub 60 wins going into next season. But you know what? I know I'm a good looking dude, but I would be nothing without the shirt I'm currently wearing. So thank you to Mizzen and Maine, the most comfortable dress shirts for men. Made with performance fabric. Head to comfortable.af to get your shirt today because they are comfortable as F. We'll be back on Thursday for the top 10 power forwards. But for now, we'll see ya.